September, a time every year where we see a wealth of new Mac games, and 2018 is no exception. As per usual, we've got tons of new indie games, but also a few more bigger budget titles for us to uh, take a look at. So without further ado, here are the top 10 new Mac games of September 2018. Starting at number 10, we have Distance. This game has been around for a while in an early access state, but in September, it finally became a full release experience. As you might expect, Distance is a different kind of racing game, as it features futuristic arcade racing with parkour and dangerous obstacles to avoid by jumping, rotating, and even flying. Each level has the player surviving levels in the quickest time. This is instead of doing the traditional, you know, laps around a loop. If you're into racing games, Distance is one of my favorite racing games right now, but also is one of the best racing games on macOS today. Number nine is Armorjet. I've got an awesome free macOS game for you this month. Armorjet is an early access game that has fast-paced competitive multiplayer matches featuring up to eight player battles. I played this game on my uh, late 2015 5K iMac and I really enjoyed it, but it could do with some extra maps because right now it has only four and I'd love to see some more gun loadouts in the future. Even if it has fairly simple 2D designs, the visuals are quite well polished, and overall, the game doesn't really do anything wrong. It's fun, intense, and provides a great casual experience for gamers, but will also challenge more competitive players. The lead. Number 8, we have Boundless. This is a new sandbox experience that Mac gamers can get into right now. It is a similar feel to Minecraft and also No Man's Sky, but adds its own unique quirks to the sandbox genre, from the gameplay to the art style. You can either choose to play alone or you can join other players and explore, defeat creatures and gather resources and build together. Players can craft different items such as building blocks, tools, food and different weapons. Boundless has a great skill progression system, a well-polished crafting setup, and cool portal networks that you can access from tons of crazy planets. Number seven is Niflheim. Something like that, I don't know. Curious and quirky is what I thought of this game. It has fun movement controls, and I like the artwork design of it also. While the gameplay might be uh, a quite a bit slow as the game tends to focus on item collection and crafting, I found that the combat is, you know, well polished and responsive. The game is about surviving in a hostile world. This means you'll need to explore dangerous dungeons and you'll need to find your way to Valhalla. Players can build fortresses to cover you from the enemy, create different potions to become stronger, and use a wide range of medieval weapons. The gods wait in their chambers, but short paths are not meant for the brave. Number six, we have Cube Escape Paradox. Here is another free macOS game for you. The story of it involves a man who finds himself a part of a strange game where he must solve puzzles to escape a room, and in the end, he must also try to recover his lost memories. Cube Escape Paradox is a weird one, and the puzzles are very fascinating, but that's why this game is receiving such positive reviews. It has a very unique gameplay approach, mixing both a game and a film crossover. In fact, this game has been released with the accompanying film Paradox, a rust lake. So what it sometimes does is create an interaction with the film, which is, you know, it, it's, it's quite cool. It has awesome puzzles, awesome voice acting, and an awesome soundtrack. Number five is Alto's Adventure. Who remembers playing this game on your iPhone or iPad or whatever? 
Well, after some time since its iOS release, Alto's Adventure has been ported to the Mac App Store. However, it is a little bit more expensive than its iOS counterpart. It is a downhill snowboarding game, letting you glide down slopes, grind on hanging platforms, and perform mid-air tricks. It's a very simple game, let's be honest, and it isn't going to blow anyone away, but Alto's Adventure is happy in its own skin and not taking itself too seriously. It's a wonderful little casual experience to play from time to time. Number four, we have Time Spinner. I've got a new platform game to show you guys. Like the title of the game says, Time Spinner, it allows you to stop time in order to evade foes and use them as platforms or to solve different puzzles. It's a cool concept and it appears to work in the game's favor. Mac gamers can explore different worlds which have been designed with stunning pixel art environments. You can also add a second player to join in via local co-op. And if you have that luxury, it makes Time Spinner even more fun. Number three is The Gardens Between. Like the game you just saw before, The Gardens Between strongly focuses on the aspect of time. You can fast forward and rewind time here to solve puzzles. Adjusting time is honestly beautiful, and the game has really found a sweet spot for how it works. To understand what I mean, I'll give you a demonstration. Isn't that just cool? It features two characters that you must help to transport a light to the end of every level in order to complete that level. I guess. Number two, we have CrossCode. This game right here is amazing. It's a retro inspired 2D action RPG that takes place in the uh, future. It cleverly mixes 16-bit SNES graphics with a more fast paced modern physics combat system. The playtime is huge around 30 to 80 hours depending on how much you're willing to invest into it and it has seven large worlds filled with different enemy types dungeons quests etc crosscode is one of the best rpg games to release this year on mac and i wouldn't advise missing it if you're into these sorts of games or genres and finally number one we have life is strange before the storm Feral Interactive are at it again, porting Life is Strange Before the Storm to our platform. And thanks to Metal Support, this game plays even better on macOS compared to the original Life is Strange, based on my experience anyway. It has a three-part standalone adventure that is set before the first game. You'll play as a young 16-year-old Chloe Price who forms a friendship with the popular student Rachel. Before the Storm has a captivating story and choice and consequences, but it also features Chloe's backtalk feature to provoke others or to get your way, and you can choose Chloe's outfit to see how people react to how you look. Give this game a go because it's an awesome adventure game for macOS. Here are some other notable games released for Mac back in September, so let's take a quick look. Mana Spark is an action RPG with fit combat and roguelike elements. Scram is an early access multiplayer FPS that has a lot of potential with a great concept, but it has some way still to go. Tiny and Tall Glipnir, or I don't know, I don't know how to say that name, is a point and click adventure that mixes old school gameplay with a modern realization. Pathfinder Kingmaker is a new RPG set in a fantasy universe. Those are the best Mac games released back in September. What are your thoughts guys? Are you happy with these games? Disappointed? Let me know. Don't forget to leave a like 
and if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe to see more videos about Mac games. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.